Golden State comes back from down 3-1 in the series to advance to the finals to take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. They win this one, 96-88. to Russell, Kevin, welcome. I understand y'all came here to get your futures told, right? Yeah, man. It's well, you came to the right place. Right here, this deck of cards holds the answer to every question. Not once has somebody came in and these deck of cards have lied to them. Sometimes it's scary. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Definitely. Okay. It takes one card only. We're going to flip over one card and it'll answer all the questions you can imagine. Oh no. Betrayal. Betrayal on the King of Hearts. That means this king is gonna get stabbed in the back. Now, out of you two, who's the King of Heart? Well, Russell Westbrook, if he wasn't the MVP before today, this could cinch it, Scott yeah, Hastings. Yeah, will. He makes history. He's got the buzzer beating win and another heartbreaking loss for the Denver Nuggets at home. Looks like he's gonna betray you, Russell. What? He's an idiot. I mean, hey, hey, cards don't lie. Doesn't, I mean, uh, when you think about the fact that he's leaving a guy that he's grown extremely close to off the court, uh, the bond of Westbrook and Durant is a real thing. They have a depth to their relationship, but obviously Durant wanted something different. My boys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be predicting the future. Uh, no, not really. We're going to be giving our opinions on the future of the NBA. So right here we have an Instagram page named NBA When Will It Happen? Basically, you're going to get a prompt, a picture, and I got to predict when I think that statement will happen. Y'all ready? When will the Bulls change their logo? Never. It's been this way from the beginning and it'll be this way to the end. Now, I know that every other team in the world, except for maybe a couple teams, have rebranded in the past. But the Bulls, it's just that logo is the best logo out of all logos. It's It does not get any cleaner. It does not get any better. So because of that, the Bulls probably will never, ever change their logo unless something like tragic hat no no not no, nothing can happen in history to make the bulls change their logo promise you that i will die and that will still be the logo and that's just how it's gonna be when will the memphis grizzlies win a championship Ooh, that's that's a tough one all right and this is why it's a tough one their current pieces they don't have enough to win a championship now marcus Saul is getting up there in age zach randolph's getting up their age mike conley's getting up they will probably never would have this core and win a championship and it's Memphis. Memphis doesn't attract the best free agents. So we, we won't see an all-star superstar go to Memphis at a free agency. So their best bet is to draft well and build a team that way. But the Memphis Grizzlies are always in the playoffs, so they never get a high enough pick to draft well. So it's just an endless loop. Oh, if I had to guess, I'm honestly, we pro they probably going to win the championship for the next 15, 20 years. Ouch, Memphis fans, y'all probably don't want to hit that. The grindhouse is crazy. I can't wait to visit there. But as far as them winning the championship, definitely no, not anytime soon. When will the NBA change their logo? Never. <laughs> Very similar to the Bulls logo. There have been a lot of players to come to the league that are better than Jerry West, all right? But for some reason, he's still the logo. I just think that the logo, it's, just, it's too clean. It's too iconic for it to change. And the picture here, they got MJ as a logo. I don't think we'll ever get that. Mm -mm. I don't think it'll ever be anybody other than Jerry West. And even Jerry West has said he doesn't think he deserves to be the logo. Or he doesn't want to be the logo. But you're the logo, my dude. I love that logo. I, I wanted to have that logo on me when I was younger. I, and that logo is iconic it, it don't get much better this the jordan logo that they got on this picture it's kind of garbage it's <laughs> it's kind of garbage i think the nba logo right now is perfect when will the bulls fire gar packs huh should have fired them 30 years no they, they should have been fired so long ago oh man when will they do it honestly these two dudes are Im immortal there have been many coaches, many people in the Bulls organization that have come and went before these two trash bags. When will it happen? 
eventually people up top management no maybe not because right um jerry reinsdorf who owns the bulls he's good friends with these dudes he's keeping his friends a job when they're not they don't have the best interests in mind what would it happen if oh man we're probably thinking five to ten years down the line bulls fans because these dudes are not aging they're not getting smart <laughs> they're not getting smarter they're not aging and they're friends with the owner that's a big l for bulls fans all around the world so uh five to ten years <laughs> when will the spurs win another title interesting question uh so the spurs have always found a way to stay afloat regardless over the past 20 years or so was it 17 18 years or so um even like this current team i never thought that this current team would be actually good because if you look at their roster their roster is nothing to be like excited about except for Kawhi. Powell is getting up there in age. He's not that good. LaMarcus All just doesn't really fit. Um, Tony Parker's aging. Manu's about to retire probably. But here they were, you know, one of the top teams in the league throughout the entire season. You can never write them off regardless. Somehow they're going to figure out a way to contend. So because of that, and not, not because their team is good, but just because I believe in Pop and I believe in their system, they'll probably win a championship in the next five years. Somehow. They're, they're, they're going to get it done probably. When will someone beat Wilt's 100-point game? I think that's one of those records that will never, ever be broken. We've seen Kobe come to 81. We've seen D-Book go 70. But 100, is, it's, it's something we will never see again. I don't think we ever will. Even when D-Book put up 70, like, they were force-feeding him. They intentionally fouled so he can get more shots. Like, 70 is a crazy number. But if you think about it, he was still... 30 points away from the record 30 points some dudes don't hit 30 points in their career and you're asking the dude to drop 70 and then add another 30. i do not think this will ever happen I, me and my friends were watching the kobe 81 clips yesterday i swear to god we were watching them yesterday and once we were in the fourth quarter he shot a lot of free throws in the fourth i'm watching him at the free throw line i'm like this dude is exhausted this dude is exhausted right now and he's still out there i do not see anybody ever dropping another 100 or 101 102 mm -mm. never unless there are major rule changes to the nba all right a major a four point play but i mean a four point line you never know somebody pulling up from four point deep knocking those down you never really know but like this current era the way things are going nah nah i don't see it happening when will rudy gobert win defense play of the year i thought rudy should have won this year if we're being honest so because of that i'm saying he's winning the next year next when will Steph Curry pass Ray Allen on three-pointers made? Let's go take a look at where he's at right now. I think he's top five, but let, let's take a look. Oh, okay. He's actually number 10. I was way off. Uh, well, not really. He's about 100 away from being top five. So I'm, not, I'm actually not that way off. So he's got to make another thousand three-pointers to get to Ray Allen. God, I feel like it's, it should be a lot closer, but I guess not. So, okay. Steph Curry has been hitting like 200 threes a season, at least 200 threes a season for like four years now, right? Let's take a look at, uh, hold on, there's like real numbers that we can take a look at here because we about to do some math in a, in a second when I find it. All right, so here is his numbers. He's made 270, 400, which is whew, unanimous MVP right there, boys. Um, and then even last year, even though he didn't take as many threes, still 323s. So getting him the benefit of the doubt, let's say he makes... 270 a year that's the lowest he's made in the last five years in that case in five years he'll be number one at the at the latest in five years he'll be number one on the all-time three-point shooting list so i'm gonna say he's gonna do it in four years because it's steph curry he'll he'll hit over 273s for sure so instead of doing a shout out from the beginning of the video for today's video we're doing it now because of the, the skit which i hope y'all like uh the big reel suggested today's shout out question should be if you could save an nba player's career from injuries who would it be yeah so leave a like and answer that question if you want to be the shout out for tomorrow there's a lot of people that respond to this one um mike said he would save christopher london's career that's, that's a pretty good answer, but let me know in the comment section below. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. This was actually the most fun I had recording a video in a long time. So hopefully y'all show major love to it because I, I put a lot of work into it. So um, appreciate it. Talk to y'all tomorrow.